Hi everyone, welcome back. So far we are going good in the series and I hope you are learning well and following along the questions. I am getting quite a good response from all of you and I am really humbled with all your support. This is keeping me motivated to make more videos. So here I am back with another video. This keeps me motivated to create more such content. I hope you clear the exam. And one more thing, if you are watching this series of CK questions and if you appear for the CK exam, then please do let us know how was your exam or how much you scored and what was your experience. If you face some different kind of questions, then you can suggest me and I'm gonna create more content around it. So this will help everyone. So I'm really looking forward for your support to share your experience around CK exam and do let us know if you find these questions in CK exam and you have watched this course and you are seeing these questions in the exam then please do let everyone know so that they will also feel motivated and this will help everyone. So without waiting much let's get started. So this time we are back with another question which is question number 15. The weightage of this question is 4%. However, depending on the scenario, it could be more. So the scenario given here is create an Nginx pod called DNS resolver. So we need to create a pod which is called DNS resolver. That is the name of the pod. And we need to use the image Nginx and expose it internally. Okay, that means we need to create a service as well. And the name of the service should be DNS resolver service. And we need to expose it internally. Internally means it should be a cluster IP. The type of the service should be a cluster IP. Then we need to check if the pod and service are resolvable from within the cluster. We need to use the image busybox1.28 for DNS lookup. And then we need to save the result in slash root slash nginx.svc file. So this is all we need to do. It's not a complicated one. This is a very simple question. But here the idea is how to look for DNS resolution. So that's the main thing and you should know how to do it. So without waiting much, let's jump into the playground. So here I am on the killer coda playground where I can run all my kubectl command. So as we know, we need to create nginx pod. So let us go ahead and create this pod. So let's create the nginx pod. For that, I'm going to use this command kubectl run dns resolver. This is the name of the pod and we need to use the image nginx. So this is all. I'm not saving the output of this file to a YML file because we just need to create a pod. We don't need to change anything in this. This is the simple requirement being asked. So let us go ahead and hit enter and it says the pod has been created. So let's check it out. kubectl get pods. So as you can see the DNS resolver pod is up and running. Next thing is we need to expose it internally with a service called DNS resolver. So let's create the service. This is the command I'm going to use, which is kubectl expose. So to expose a service, this is an imperative command and to expose a service, we can just use this command instead of writing a YML file. But you can use this command to convert the output to YML as we have seen in the previous video and then make changes accordingly and then apply it. But for now, the command is kubectl expose and what we need to expose is a pod. So kubectl expose pod and then the name of the pod that is DNS resolver and then the name of the service. So hyphen hyphen name equals to DNS resolver service. So this is the name of the service and then we need to give the port 80 and the target port is also 80 and we need to expose this internally which is why I have specified type as cluster IP. So this is all we need to do as per the question. So let us go ahead and hit enter. So the service is created now. Let us check it out. kubectl get svc or service. So as you can see, the DNS resolver service is created. Now we need to check if the pod or service are resolvable within the cluster. That means if we access the service by its name, it should resolve to an IP. To check if it is resolvable, I'm simply gonna run one command using image busybox. And the command is this one. That is kubectl run test ns lookup. So we are going to create a pod test ns lookup. That pod will use the image busybox 1.28 and that pod will use the image busybox. So this is the name of the pod that I'm going to create and then I'm using an image busybox and then I'm saying hyphen hyphen rm. So this is gonna remove it once our work is done and then we are specifying option it and we are saying restart never. That means once the job is done, whatever we want to do, do not restart this pod again. 
and after hyphen hyphen we are specifying what command we want to run inside that pod. So we want to run the command ns lookup on the service dns resolver service. So this is the name of the service. So when we run this what it will do is it will simply create a pod called test ns lookup and then it will run this command ns lookup inside the pod and will simply output the result and will kill the pod and it will not restart it again. So this is all it is going to do and this is what we are interested in as per the question. So let us go ahead and run this. Okay, so as we can see the DNS resolver has been resolved and the IP is coming out to be 10.99.165.88 and as you can see the pod test NS lookup has been deleted now. So it just run those commands and it comes out and simply delete the pod. So this is all we wanted to do but another part is to save the result in slash root slash nginx.svc file. So for this we need to run the same command and we just need to take the output to a file. So I am going to use the same command and I will simply redirect the output to slash root slash nginx.svc file. So we are going to use the same command and we will simply save the output to this file. Let us go ahead and hit enter. Okay, this is done. I am just clearing the screen and we are going to check if it is applied or not. Okay, so the output is saved to this file. So we are done with this question. It was a simple one and quick one. But the only thing that you need to focus here is how to test if a service is getting resolved to an IP or not. And the second thing is to take the output to a file. So you should know how to do all these things. The scenario could be a bit different but this is how you should approach and the commands are simple but you can always get help of Kubernetes documentation. So this is it for this question. I am really humbled with all your support that I am getting. Please stay subscribed and like the video.